What the heck and welcome back to my YouTube channel everyone. My name is Jordan and I am traveling the world and right now I am here in the Kyushu region of Japan. It's down south. It's an awesome, beautiful, sort of un more untouched natural region of Japan and I can't wait to show you what it's all about. I'm here with Kluk and Japan Tourism. So they've set up an epic, epic seven days for us and I can't wait to get into this vlog. So let's go. So to start our journey here in Kyushu, we have a rickshaw! Hello! <laughs> and guys, let me just introduce old Jacko to the, to, the, to the trip, to the vlog. How's it going? It's been a while since we've hung out, so if you are, if you've been around for a while, we sort of started everything together in 2016, so boom! Good to see you, what the heck is. Yeah. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's what we call you. <laughs> so over the next seven days, I'm going to be doing every single Kluke activity that I can possibly do down in this region. And I'm going to show you guys what I liked, what I didn't like, starting with this rickshaw. This activity is super unique and something you should do with your families to be able to see the area with ease. But let's get into the epic stuff because Kyushu as a region is known for volcanoes, hot springs and a whole bunch more. Let's go. It's the next day and we're down here at a town called Beppu. We've taken a day tour and this place is wild. We have these natural hot spring pools that sort of like bubble up sulfur and hot water, 90 degree hot water from the earth. They call it hell. So we're visiting hell today and check this out. Beppo, add it to the list because... Beppo. Beppo? <laughs> Not Beppo, Beppo. I got it wrong, but I'm pretty, pretty good this trip, so don't judge for that. But uh, yeah, add it to the list because we've just gone to hell and back through the, through the smoke. We smell a bit eggy, but wow, worth it. Alright, it's our third day here in Kyushu and we are down here at Takachiho Gorge. Is that right? That was perfect. Is it right? Yes! yes. Bang. Look at that. Got it right. That's the first time in my whole life I got that right. Anyway, this gorge is seen as the number one tourist attraction down here and it is honestly going to blow you away. It's a massive gorge with some beautiful waterfalls and we're going to take a little boat ride. Let's go! Alright, so if you are coming down here, it's going to cost you a sweet 5,000 yen, which is roughly around 50 USD for half an hour. But, you know what, you've come all the way to Japan, you're not going to skimp out after spending all that money just to get here, right? So, it's a must-do activity and we're going to come down and do it right now. It's a bit romantic. It's like the notebook. <laughs> no, you, uh, oh, they're my jeans? <laughs> Wow. All right, that was awesome, man. I didn't realize how hard rowing was. We nearly got wet by the waterfall, but oh, that was so cool. This gorge is just insanely stunning, and for a place that's so beautiful, still not that many tourists. I mean, this is probably the most popular tourist destination in the region, but I guess we're just coming to a good time because, wow, it's so beautiful, and no one's around. Sun came out. Even the sun came out. Add this place to your destination list for sure. So you've all heard of a sushi train, but have you heard of a noodle train? Because we're here down at one of the local places. So they're called Salmon Noodles. Salmon Noodles. And this is the original place that made them. And it's just up from the Waterfall Gorge. So 
if you're in the area, you may as well come check it out as well. They send the noodles down here and you've got to be smart enough to pick them up with your chops chopsticks. Fast enough, sorry. And boom. Is this the menu? That's how you get your meal. Uh, so let's yeah, give this a go. Oh, yeah. We've got the boys. What's after this? <laughs> oh my gosh, I lost so many noodles. It's harder than it looks, so don't judge me. But we eventually got them all and it was actually quite delicious as well. Oh, oh, oh. And that was one heck of a cool, awesome experience. On with the trip. So to finish this day trip, we've come down here to a shrine where a lot of Japanese people come to worship and just pay their respects. And it just happens to be in a huge natural cave. So it's really, really spectacular place to come. If you are interested in any of these activities, they're all booked by the Kluke app and I'll leave the links in the description below. We're still down here on Kyushu Island and we're here at it Itoshima. I hope, I hope I'm saying that right. What is that? Shimakeya. Shimakeya, Itoshima. Is, I'll put a map link. This is the constant struggle for Jordan. The <laughs> pronunciations. Not all of us are as articulate as the others, okay? So we all struggle <laughs> with some things. Itoshima. Idiot. Shima. <laughs> okay, start with one syllable. It. It. Oh. Oh. Shima. Shima. Now put all three together, Jordan. Iridilima. Iris Gold star. <laughs> Iris Itoshima. <laughs> anyway, that's beside. <laughs> but this area is actually Shima Kea. That's beside the point. Look how beautiful this beach is. Who knew Japan looked like this? <music> Alright, so we found a path up to actually a bit of a a bit of a rock on the edge of the edge of the ocean, so edge of the sea I should say. So we're gonna see if we can make our way up there, but it's looking like we're in for a good sunset, boys and girls, which is quite exciting. Look at this stunner. Woo! Pretty sketchy, but we got here and wow, it's so pretty. I never thought Japan could look like this, but Kyushu is killing the game with the nature stuff. I'll put this location in the description below. It is not bookable through Kluke, but you can buy the train pass through the app if you choose. Otherwise, you can just get here via public transport with ease. beautiful way to start the day this is awesome so we decided to, for our last day here at Kluke we are booking a one day adventure through the app down south we've got an awesome guide called Helen she's taking us around to all the adventure spots and we've started with a bang check this Come down to Kala Mashkini's. <laughs> that was perfect. What was it? Kamishikimi Kumano Imasu Shrine. Yeah, that's the shrine <laughs> I've come down to. Um, it's a very long name, so I should never have tried to pronounce that. This feels like a movie. What's right, happening so here? We're at this shrine, and if you're, it said if you're looking for love, you um, That's gift me. a coin with a hole in it. You bow twice, and you give the bell a really good ring to wake up the gods to say, "Come on, give, give you some love." love. <laughs> <laughs> um, is it the coin first? Coin first. Okay. Right. Put it in. Um, all right. <laughs> give it a ring. Two vows. Two vows. Dang, yes. what's that? Marvin Gaye's playing already. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, have to, we'll have to come back to Jake in a few years and see if it worked. For some reason my audio stopped working for this little segment of the vlog, so I just want to quickly summarize what I'm trying to say here. 
Now we're going to do a quick one hour hike to see the most active volcano in Japan. Look at this. Look at that thing. That is Let's throw the drone up and see what we can get. Wow, that volcano was awesome, but now we are finished our time here in Kyushu. Just remember that everything I did this week was with the Kluke. It's an app, you can download it. They have a whole bunch of activities you can do down here in the Kyushu region. Obviously, you don't have to take the tour because it might be a little bit more expensive, but it's way less worries and way more easy to handle. So you gotta weigh those things up before you come to this region, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video and make sure you subscribe if you want future updates. We're off to Osaka now, so it's gonna be fun. There should be another video on Japan coming soon, and I will see you guys in the next one. What the heck, bye.